What a day. All right, you guys. I'm Tasha Mama Bear Homestead. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're just going to talk about preserving eggs. Um, eggs, 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 right? There's a lot of conversation right now in the news in general about eggs, about uh, the feed, um, feed being uh, compromised, different things to feed your egg, uh, chickens, um, and just the whole aspect of eggs. And I think that eggs are one of those foods that when we talk about preparedness, we talk about homesteading, we talk about um, self-sustainability, doing things for yourself, providing for yourself. It's just one of the most easiest things to um, get in regards to providing for you and your family, right? And so eggs are important. And I think that it's important to keep them in our diet and be able to continue to do that later when things go left, right? when we truly are living on our own. And so how do you preserve eggs? There's a lot of ways. This is a very basic question that I get quite a bit. I've gotten this a couple times in Instagram on DMs on, on eggs as I show different ways of preserving eggs on there. Um, and so I just wanna go over the different ways that I know of preserving eggs. And some of these, um, one in particular I have not done yet, but I'm super excited and I'm actually probably have enough eggs now to do a small jar of this. Um, this week and so I'm gonna probably do that so what are the different ways that you can preserve eggs well um, first thing is you could freeze them um, I've done this I've done this a couple different ways um, I think the most common ways are either um, cracking the eggs scrambling them up in a bowl um, measured out right so you know how many you're you're having a, in a bag put it in a, a freezer um, bag and then um, lay it flat and then you can freeze it and you can it's a good way for space if you will for freezing eggs and keeping them in there and then just literally stacking them up you can do a lot at a, at a time right if you have a large family or you want to just have a certain amount um that you know that you use in cooking quite a bit um but you can scramble them up and then put them in the freezer baggies and then lay them flat and let them freeze i also know a very common way another way that i've done it is um Putting them either you can put them in ice cube trays um again you're cracking them you're just cracking them open um and putting them in ice uh cube trays or um cupcake tins um and you can scramble these and put them in there or you can just crack them open and put them in there now i like to just crack them when i do it this way and i actually like to do muffin pans and i like to use the egg cracked in um and, and actually, I take that back, not actual muffin pans. I like to take the silicone muffin cups that are the plasticky ones, right? Silicone ones. I crack them in those and I put them on a flat sheet, freeze them, and then those pop out of the silicone um, cupcake holders really easy. And then I put all those in a baggie and throw them in the freezer. And I like that because it's easy in that freezer bag to go in and get the number of eggs I need, whether I'm baking something, trying to make scrambled eggs, trying to make eggs, whatever it is I'm trying to do. Um, I, I like doing it that way. Okay. Um, so freezing, freezing is a good way, but it can't be, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. It can't be the only way that you're, um, keeping eggs. Okay. The other way, uh, that's popular. I'm not a huge fan of this actually. And that's dehydrating eggs. And a lot of folks will dehydrate eggs. Um, a lot of folks will take it a step further and dehydrate the eggs in a dehydrator. And then once they're dehydrated, they'll powder them down. And then they like it in that powdered form and using it in the powder form that they can reconstitute and bring back to make scrambled eggs or whatever. Um, um, to me, that's a finalized thing, right? It's you've, you've already scrambled it. I mean, I guess that's the same if you freeze them. Um, I don't know. I've just never been a huge fan of dehydrating the eggs myself in a dehydrator, but that is a way that you can do it. Um, another way is to pickle them. This is now one of my favorites. I have a video on this channel where I pickled with meat and eggs. Um, but on my mama bear prepping channel, I have a video where I do three separate, um, pickled egg recipes. And my favorite out of that video is just the normal, basic garlic pickled egg, right? Um, with just, there's not a whole lot of extra stuff, but I do a couple funky recipes on that video as well. Um, maybe I'll try to find that and link that, um, those videos for you over here, um, in the description box so you can check those out. Um, but the garlic one was my favorite, but I do a couple other ones on there as well. But I love a pickled egg so good in a chicken or tuna salad, right? Make up a, a can of tuna or a can of chicken and add a pickled egg to it. Um, I love ramen noodles with a pickled egg cut up on top of it. I, I just absolutely love them. They're good, great for snacks. 
they are a, an acquired taste. So some of the family obviously is not a fan of them. I love them and they're not good forever, but they're good for a couple months in the fridge, right? Um, I know families who make pickled recipes and they actually do not refrigerate them. They actually leave them on the shelf. I know some people who have, um, you know, pressure can them or water bathe them, like cook them. I've never done that. Um, so not sure about those recipes. I've never actually tried that or what it does to the egg. Um, but I think it's a, there's a large channel. I think it's the American Homestead. I think if I'm not mistaken, the way they do their eggs, they make them in the big gallon jars and they leave them on the counter. They make them and they leave them on the counter and they just snack on them the whole time until they're gone. And that's how they keep them. They do not keep them refrigerated. Okay. Um, so pickling eggs, um, water glassy. That's the one that I'm about to do myself. You cannot do this with star, star, uh, store bought eggs. You have to do this with fresh farm eggs. Um, so obviously we're, we started getting eggs and I'm excited to do this. I'm obviously going to do it on a much smaller scale. I'm not going to do like a gallon um, thing. I'm probably going to just do it on a much smaller scale and keep it to quart size jars just so I can get to into the process, figure out how it works and get some put away, right? Get me 12 eggs or so, however many I can fit in that jar and put them away. And this is a great option because this truly makes them shelf stable, right? Uh, fresh eggs, shelf stable. It's hard because there's all types of ways that we preserve eggs, but this is the best way in my opinion to keep them fresh um, in a fresh form, right? So you can hard boil, right? You can, um, you know, still do deviled eggs, you know, you could, uh, however you want to do it, just amazing the opportunities you have with water glassing. And they're good for 12, 18 months, right? So water glassing is an amazing way that, you know, our ancestors, we've been doing this for, for centuries of keeping eggs. And so you've got to make sure that you're keeping the right stuff um, stockpiled so that you're able to continue to do that. But that is a great way to um, preserve eggs. Another even longer way is to buy eggs right to buy freeze-dried eggs you can buy freeze-dried whole eggs freeze-dried egg powder freeze-dried eggs ready to go right and that's amazing because that is shelf stable in the way of most of those places that you buy that from that's 25 years that stuff is good for it's good for a very very long time and so i just think that there's certain things that are perishable type items that we need to figure out um, two things, how to buy them and stockpile them for an emergency, and then also how to make them, grow them, make them yourselves, produce them yourselves, um, because we're so used to getting stuff like dairy products. We're so used to getting that stuff from the market that you don't realize, hey, what would I need to be able to do that myself, right? Then eggs is just a staple, if you will, a food protein staple that is like a must have in every family. Like I can imagine SHTF without eggs. So eggs, 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 my family loves eggs. We love eggs in all types of capacities, all types of ways. Can't wait one day to get more chickens, to have more eggs produced. I want e eggs coming out my ears because I'm excited. I know several ways, obviously, to preserve them, and I'm excited. Another way is you could buy your own freeze dryer and freeze dry eggs. And again, I like this concept because you can freeze dry the egg in whatever way it is that you want to freeze dry it, right? You could boil eggs first, hard boil eggs, and freeze dry them. You could scramble them. You could fry them and do a tray of fry a fried egg already fried, you know, but you freeze dried it. Like there's so many ways that you could do this. And um, I just really, really, really like the idea of freeze drying certain foods, especially harder foods. Obviously this is not a food that's hard to preserve in other ways. Um, and that's really the type of foods that I'm interested in freeze drying. When we get our freeze dryer, we don't have it yet, um, but super exciting. So eggs are important. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, if you're the egg white only person, you know, first of all, the yolk and everything's super important, but just say it's, you're not, you know, you still can do this in whatever way that you eat eggs, okay? So think about which way to preserve them is gonna work for you. Think about options, think about doing it multiple ways. You wanna have this um, prepped, stockpiled, and, and preserved in multiple different layers and ways so that if one of those layers fails, like the freezer, for example, um, and you want stuff that's gonna last maybe a couple months, and then you want stuff that's gonna last, you know, um, 
you know, a year or more, right? So that's what's cool about the difference of, you know, water glassy versus maybe just doing a, a quick pickle that you throw in your fridge just for snacking and adding to stuff. So I don't know. This is um, not a long video, but I get this question quite a bit. Um, and now that we have eggs, you know, preserving eggs is going to be even more important and um, excited to move forward with some of these other longer traditional type options that I've never gotten to try that I've always wanted to try. And so um, maybe I'll bring you guys along on that video as I water glass for the first time because it's super, super easy. I mean, it's, it's the simplest recipe thing to do. Um, I think I just watched a video of somebody pulling out like 18 month old eggs and they hard boiled and they were they looked delicious and they said that they tasted delicious. So to me, I'm like to be able to get it in that freshest form, mwah, right? Just can't, can't get any better. Okay. So uh, go out and do the things. Think about how you're going to introduce eggs into your stockpile, long-term stockpile and get to getting. Okay. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Take care. Bye.